So ribbon development, before I'll explain what ribbon development is, I'm going to go through the advantages of it. One of the big advantages of living down the country and having your own site is you can build a magnificent house on it. You can build whatever sort of house you like and can afford and your budget goes an awful lot further uh, when you know, you're building it on a site that you own. Uh, you want to live near friends and family if you're from the country, you can have many advantages. Do you want to have a very large garden? Want to own a house that you can extend? You know, you might be able to build the house that you really want the first time around, but you know, you can build a nice house and have room to extend it further as the years go by. Want to have room for a large workshop or even to have a horse or a pony those things are also possible yeah want to have plenty of space to park your cars uh, maybe design your own house uh, go for walks in the country or the forestry nearby and space for your boat and trailer or your caravan so what is ribbon development Ribbon development is where you come to the edge of a town and instead of the housing coming to an end, they continue on, uh, usually in Ireland, on both sides of the road uh, for a long distance afterwards, often miles. So uh, with the advent of cars, you can keep building further and further away from towns and up into hills and mountains and it's not uncommon to see uh, houses on both sides of the road in remote locations. Obviously there's downsides. Uh, you'd be 100% car dependent uh, living in a one-off house. You have to commute long distances for work, uh, driving long distances for shopping, uh, traveling, driving long distances for leisure activity, uh, driving to meet friends and families, driving to sports events, social events, christenings, weddings, etc. There's also the issue of the loss of views. This will affect people who uh, visit country areas because while you'll have a nice view from the windows of your house up the mountain, uh, their view from the road will be blocked by your house. Septic tanks can lead to pollution. There's also the issue of uh, having uh, well water, which is a system that the householder uh, must manage. The cost of drilling the well plus uh, pump house and the maintenance costs all have to be borne by the householder. And there's also the risk that the water from the well it could become polluted. Rainwater on the site must be drained somewhere. Uh, because of urban sprawl and the high car dependency issue, uh, it can lead to large number of out of town centres and large car parks. These move trade away from the town centres, putting town centre retailers under pressure and in some cases killing off the high street in the town. Uh, commuting by car can lead to traffic jams, congestions in towns and cities. Provision of services is more difficult and the cost for dispersed housing services such as electricity and broadband is more expensive than in urban areas. Uh, providing support to the elderly uh, li living in one-off houses is also more expensive and more difficult for the state to provide than for people living in towns and cities. And providing ambulance and emergency services in remote areas can be uh, challenging and difficult. So what do I think? Well, I've lived both in Dublin and down the country. And I do know it's much easier to find faults and list them out and complain about them than to find solutions. That the people who built these houses 
built Martin houses, they built communities, and I do know that the countryside would not be the same without the people who live in the countryside.